great gifts are being shared with us by the Almighty on daily basis. In every step of the way we can see signs and we can see wonders and we can see amazing, amazing um, revealings of godly supervision on our lives that are waving and signing and showing us that there is a maker to the creation and that we should listen to him and follow his, um, his voice. There are messages that are coming from outside and there are messages that are coming from within. There are senses that we feel um, like intuition or thoughts of regret or hopes for the future, dreams. All the inner um, system of our senses and thoughts advising us from within how to come closer to Hashem. And there is the outside system of the world that in a similar way is hinting us just that the hints from outside that are showing to us what is good and what is not, what is right and what is wrong, are actually aiming us as a early platform to understand the higher level of senses and signs that are shining from within. So the things that are happening to a person in the outside world, in his surroundings, let's say that he tried to eat something and that thing is not ripe and he can sense the flavor that is not sweet enough or that is bitter or that he's trying to talk to a certain person and he goes through a certain humiliation and then he can learn from that humiliation, from that experience, if he should try to talk to that person again or to people that reflect to him um, a certain idea or a vision or a connection to that person, that that person is showing something to him that educates him. All those teachings and all those external learnings are actually hints for us to understand a deeper and much more meaningful message that is inner. So, therefore, the level of learning from outside is a lower level than the level of learning from within. So in every situation in life, while we are walking, talking, hearing, smelling, tasting, um, experiencing things in the outside world, we need to try to understand how that situation, that outside external situation is a reflection of our inner world. The way to do so is to break down the experience Towards, If let's say that you saw something in the world, a person, and he hurt someone else in front of your eyes, try to understand what is the inner message from that situation. How are you going to do that? You're going to try to break down this situation into words, means that you're going to try to um, describe those two people, the evil one and the innocent one, who that character is for you, what he represents. He represents evil, he represents anger, he represents sadness, he represents violence, he represents ignorance, he represents stupidity, what he represents to you. And the other one, what he represents, goodness, kindness, um, innocence, or that he's representing um, a whining person that is like self-centered and, and, and poor and not taking care of himself. Like, what is he for you? That is, by the way, also the way to interpret a dream. If you saw a certain thing in a dream, a horse, a lake, a pond, a house, a mountain, your soulmate, uh, money, a snake, anything that you saw, instead of being stuck with its figure and form, try to break down its description in your mind, what it woke up inside of you, how it touched your inner 
senses, in what way it spoke to you from within, and then you will understand the inner feelings that that situation, external situation, came to explore, came to show, came to present and to reflect for you, for your spiritual inner development, spiritual and emotional growth, for the completion of our process of coming closer and to become one with our Maker, with Hashem, with God. Thank you.